Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. It's your boy Trash Gamer here, and we are actually playing 2K21. We're going to simulate a Pacers rebuild. We're actually going to play some of the games, so because you know that 2K does not have a start today because of the COVID situation, we had to manually do the whole season. So we ended up getting 35 wins, pretty close to the 34 wins that we got in the real season. So um, let's see. Give me one second. But what we all came here for, the draft lottery. We have the seventh best odds. In real life it's the thirteenth, but yeah, let's see where we end up getting. And we end up getting the eighth pick in the draft. So we have a lot of questions we're going to have answer. Versus Nate, you already know we gotta fire him. So do we wanna try to go after our head coaching candidate last year, Mike D'Antoni, who was highly rumored. Um, realistically, I don't see him leaving his situation with the Nets. I honestly don't. Jeff Hornacek, uh, no. Kenny Atkinson, no. Jason Kidd, that's an interesting take right there. Our assistant coach, he ended up getting into it. With Goga, I feel like if they let um, Nate Bjorken go, they're gonna let him go. The Ron Adams, that's a good one. That's that's a good one. Mm. M. Cassell is the one that's still highly. I mean, honestly, I could see Sam Cassell. I know Chauncey was big last year. Dwayne Casey might be an interesting choice. Hmm. Who could they be going for? Honestly, feel like Jason Kidd might be. No. I mean, honestly, I would think Becky Hammond of all people, but we're going to go. West Unsell Jr. But give him four years, three million. And for our assistant coach. Oh, he's a whole head coach. What am I doing? And then for training staff. Now something that's been overlooked. We've missed on our first round picks. We've hit on our second round picks. We missed on our first round picks. It might. I wouldn't be surprised if they overhaul the whole process. All right. 
Let's see what we can get. All of them. Perfect. So. Some of the things that have been, um, um, talked about in Pacer Nation. Um, so what do we do with the Moss Turner Sabonis situation? Do we try to upgrade at point guard? And do we just run a three guard lineup? Move TJ Warren down to the four, Sabonis at the five. Just go with that. So what I'm thinking is... Let's look at the mock draft. For some reason, Jalen Suggs is projected to go 24th on here. Realistically, that's not where I see him going. But you know how the storylines are on 2K, so. Uh, so what do we do? We will move up probably. To this fifth spot probably. Because they need a center. Over there in Charlotte. Miles Turner will give you another asset in Aaron Holiday. In a second. Realistically, I knew that wasn't going to work. So realistically, it would work if we give up our pick. Which, okay, with the 8th pick, I didn't need to do, but... Realistically, we're looking at the 13th pick, and that's probably what it's going to take to move up to take Jalen Suggs. So, with that being said, that means Sabonis is now our center. Which means TJ Warren is now... Well, we can keep it like that. Our four. Another thing that might happen to make room at free agency, Jeremy Lamb might be dumped. For something as simple as a second. Yes, I would love to do that, but realistically, we know that's not going to happen. I could see that happening. I could possibly see that happening. I could realistically see and see that happening too. I could see that happening too because that'd be like a win now move for them. A first round pick three years down the line, four years down the line, and then I could see that. So, now we must address our our holes. And with the first pick, Greg Brown. Okay. But that probably means Cade Cunningham is next. Yep. 
So they're going big man and point guard. BJ Boston, number three, okay. And number four, the Detroit Pistons, Jalen Green. See, I would expect him number three. All right, so with that, we take Jalen Suggs and then we go on with our lives. So now we have a second round. We have two seconds, I think. Yeah. JT Thor is still there. Of course we're taking him. Of course we're taking him. Of course we're taking him. Yes, I don't know what caused him to slide this far either, but we're going to take it. So then who will be our next second round pick? We need wing depth. We need we need another three. Even though we're probably gonna bring back O'Shea Brissett, but still. Oof. He's the best defender. And he has a little shot on him. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, and just like that, we're done. So, we have... See, like Jalen Subs wasn't that bad. Okay, so... We're gonna sign all our people. Edmund Sumner, yes, yes. Keelan Martin, no. We are not actually gonna bring him back. So with that being said, qualifying offers none. McDermott and TJ McConnell, we lost. So let's see what we have to choose from. Realistically, we can't afford any of those. Let's see. See, Doug McDermott, though, we could, we could use that shooting. But we're going to let him test out, see what he gets. All right, so here we are. Hmm. Tim Hardaway Jr.? I was expecting him to get another big contract, like another 15 to 18 mil contract. But he's balling right now. See, no one's offering Doug that eight that he wants. We'll give him 18, 6 mil. Ah, he's not going to take it. Ah, the disrespect. Hmm. Let's see, currently, what do we have right now? Alright, so we have our point guard, shooting guard, small forward. Backup shooting guard. In theory, power forward. Hmm. Don't really need much, actually. We could use like 
One more card. George Hill, we can use you to develop. Um, Jalen Suggs. You can be that mentor role. Perfect. He's retired, so no. I, I think we're done here, actually. I think we're completely done with the our off season. Like it's not, you know, superstar splashes, but it's the small changes that might make the difference. So bonus went down too. Oh, it's for the position change though. Hmm. Goga's developing pretty nicely, actually. Might have to find some playing time for him. All right, so. Okay, hoop summit. Load up the next year's draft. Training camps, we have two. Untapped potential for Jalen Suggs. Big man defense for Sabonis. All right, advance to the next season. Player mentorship. Quick first step, I start. Winter specialist. Hmm. Who signed? Eddie Mills and Michael K. Gilchrist? Okay. Alright, so that will be it for the first episode. After this, we are going to start the season with the Warriors. Okay. Well, my name is Trash Gamer, and I'm out. Peace.